Okay, so in this uh, tutorial we're going to be looking at two different types of systems of equations to solve. One of these types is a linear and quadratic relationship, and this can either have one, two, or no intercepts depending on the slope and whatnot of the formula. And we're also going to be looking at a quadratic and quadratic relationship. Now this type of relationship can either have two intercepts, one intercept, or no intercepts. Let's say we're given the problem where an acorn is falling from a tree and it's modeled by 2h equals negative 8t squared plus 4t plus 16. A crazy squirrel decides that, wow, that acorn looks pretty good, and he decides to jump out of the tree and try and catch it. His height is modeled by negative 2t plus 6. So how do we solve for this? Well, we're going to use a process called elimination. We could also use another process called substitution, but for this problem we'll look at elimination, and for the next one we'll look at substitution. So first off, with elimination, essentially we're trying to eliminate one of the variables, and we'll call this variable that we want to eliminate the odd variable. The odd variable is a variable that doesn't have a square, or there isn't multiple um, powers of that variable, in this case, that odd variable is h. Now what we want to do is we want to subtract this, for, this equation from that equation so that we can eliminate h. Now, to do this, we need to set have it so that when our h's subtract from each other, they equal 0. This means that we need to have these h's have the same coefficient. But how do we go about doing that? Well, we could either multiply this equation by 2, which would give us 2h, or we could divide this equation by 2. Now we can do this because we'll still have whole numbers and it'll be nice and easy to deal with. So let's do that right now. We'll divide this by 2, which will give us h equals negative 4t squared plus 2t plus 8. Now we'll subtract this equation from that equation and we'll set this up like h equals 0t squared minus 2t plus 6. Then we can subtract these values from each other. Our h's cancel out and equal 0 because h minus h is 0. Negative 4t squared minus 0t squared is negative 4t squared. 2t minus 2t. The two negatives cancel out in this case, which gives us plus 4t. And 8 minus 6 gives us a value of positive 2. Now we can factor to solve for t. Now that we factor this out, we find that our t values equal to negative 0 0.37 and 1.37. So these are the two possible values where uh, the possible time values where the squirrel catches the acorn. But we know that we can't have negative time unless you're from Doctor Who or something. So we'll just get rid of that value and we'll say that t is only equal to 1.37 seconds. But now we want to find the height. Well, to find that is simple enough. We can simply sub in t here and solve for h. So we have h equals negative 2 times 1.37 plus 6, and we find that our height is equal to 3.26 meters. So we know that the squirrel will catch the acorn at 3.26 meters in height and after 1.37 seconds. Let's say we have two crazy squirrels and they're crazy in love. One squirrel decides that he can't stand waiting for his squirrel to climb down the tree and for them to embrace, so he decides, hey, let's jump off the trees and at some point we'll collide with each other in beautiful harmony. So this equation is modeled by h equals negative t squared plus 2t plus 8 and h equals negative bracket t minus 4 bracket squared plus 10. So we know that we have a quadratic quadratic relationship here. This graph will look something like this, and this graph will look something like this. 
and this makes sense because you can see two squirrels jumping here and colliding here and embracing in love. This equation is already equal to h, and this equation is equal to h. So if both equations are equal to h, we know that both equations are also equal to each other. Now we can simply expand this out and so on and so forth, and we can add these together and simplify it. So after foiling this out, we find that we have negative t squared plus 2t plus 8 equals negative t squared plus 8t minus 16 plus 10. And now we'll simplify it. We'll add 16 and subtract 10 from this side. That's 24, that's 14. Subtract 8t from 2t, which gives us negative 6t. And add t squared to this. So we're left, now we're just left with negative 6t plus 14 equals 0. We can subtract 14. So we know that t is equal to negative 14 over negative 6, or t is equal to 2.33. So now that we have the time, we can solve for h by inputting time into our formula. So here we have h equals negative 1 times 2.33 minus 4 squared plus 10 and that's how we solve for h. So we'll simply solve this and find h. And we find that our h value is equal to 7.2. So we know that these two squirrels will collide after 2.33 seconds and 7.2 meters. Just like if we were to draw this out on the graph, here's our x value and here's our y value. And that's how you solve using substitution.